This is a demonstration of uh, doing some visualization within Small World. Um, I had posted about this earlier in the year about uh, using GraphViz as a visualization tool within Small World and I thought it might be helpful to actually show a video of that as well. So GraphViz is a freely available tool um, for generating um, complex uh, visualizations, different kinds of graphs with edges and notes. You can download it here from graphviz.org. Um, so what I did is I tried to find some complica uh, complex scenarios in Small World that might be um, easier understood by some visualization. And I discovered um, or realized that one of the areas that is kind of complex within Small World, uh, precisely because it is powerful, is the whole XML configuration and, and GUI setups. Uh, and because these XML files can inherit from other XML files, uh, it is possible to weave quite a web of uh, dependencies of these XML files. Um, so knowing where to make appropriate um, configurations is important, and having a visualizing tool for that um, would be helpful. So what I've done is created a wrapper, uh, a magic wrapper around the, um, the GraphViz engine. And what it essentially does, it creates uh, output uh, in the graph is language, the dot, the dot notation. So you can see some of that there. But having a magic wrapper lets you um, write that a lot quicker. So um, the environment that I have here, I have uh, three applications defined and uh, any number of XML files. I don't even know how many XML files. So if I tell the small world product, I say um, produce output for every application definition that this image is currently aware of. So it goes off and runs and does its thing. You can see here it writes um, a whole bunch of XM, um, SVG files. Uh, I've used a scalable vector graphic file format because it allows you to click on various things. So what I'm going to do I'm going to use um, Internet Explorer. Uh, you could use other uh, web browsers as well as long as they support SVG. Uh, if you use Internet Explorer, you can download the SVG uh, Adobe client from this website here. Once that's downloaded, you can hear it. We've got the summary page, and I'll drag that into there. And with Internet Explorer, it says um, it always raises the security uh, warning. So you can see um, there's a couple options here. If I, in this case, if I uh, hit Control or Shift, and then with different mouse actions, I can zoom in or out. Um, the Alt lets me pan, but now it's clickable. So um, I'm interested in the larger balls. The pink ones indicate that something is worth looking at uh, in that. Uh, XML file. So I click on there, and you can see now that I see an inheritance uh, structure here. That for this um, SWAF professional application config XML is inherited by Cambridge DB SWAF professional application config XML, which is inherited by Web Maps Connector, CambridgeExample.config XML. Um, so you can see this quite easily visually what the inheritance uh, path is. And then I've also color coded it. So green means that the editor manager in this case, um, something has changed in it, but it's, it's a valid change. Sometimes you'll see these things in red, which means essentially someone copied and pasted uh, a definition from a parent down to a class and didn't make any changes. So what's the point of having a copied and pasted XML definition if there's no changes? So that's what this uh, visualization tool does. Uh, we can just go back and we can you know, look at other examples as well. But in short, that is what uh, I used GraphViz visualization together with SmallWorld for.